Welcome to the Brant and Sherry Oddcast. To find out more about the show or to order Brant's new book, Life is Hard, God is Good, Let's Dance, go to BrantHanson.com. Just being honest, of course, there's so much negative stuff about church stuff in the news. Yeah. People being hypocrites, uh, stuff getting covered up, just different. It happens a lot. And I got to tell you, just in case you're somebody who's kind of new to the faith or something, I'm not. And Sherry's not new to it. And we realize, I'll, I'll speak for myself, or I realize stage Christianity isn't the same as actually following Jesus. Yeah. It's a, it's just not. I don't know how to how to relate it exactly, but it's a much a different thing than actually being a disciple. Like there's there's this whole world of following Jesus together, mm-hmm. and then there's stuff we do on stage, and those are very different things. Uh, so it doesn't rock my faith when I see this stuff. I just think, yeah, humans they'll use whatever to get what they want, and uh, that doesn't surprise me. What's beautiful is when I see people actually follow Jesus, and that does happen. And it does make a difference, and people's lives are better, and the world is better for it. Could be a record for travel coming up for July 4th and okay. stuff. So, um, 71 million people. Okay, that's a lot. That's a lot of us. <laughs> I have a travel hack, though, from doing lots of plane riding lately. Okay, let's hear it. You know, it. the aisle armrest? Yeah. You can move that up. Oh. Yeah. Like going out into the aisle? Yeah. I did Make, not know that. Okay, thanks. All Can right. Like There's a little button underneath that. Uh huh. If you find it, I do. I do it all the time. There's no real practical. I was gonna say, with, I don't know what the purpose no. is, but it's interesting. It's interesting. I always thought people. Would, I think they notice. And they. I think they think I'm cool that I'm doing that. No, no. I'm sure because I would be like, oh look, right. I didn't know it did that. And then I'd but quickly remember. There's no reason. Me, well, no there's one, no reason to I do it. I think people are thinking that. <laughs> They've proven this, that humans will just justify anything in our heads. And we'll convince ourselves, no matter what we do. Well, it's, it's not so bad. Yeah. It's, it's amazing how we do that. There's a psalm I just saw. I never noticed it really before, for whatever reason. Psalm 25, 9. It says, he who, it says, he, talking about God, leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. Mm. Like, if you want to know, what's your way that you have for me in life, Lord? You got to get out of the justification business because that's what if i'm not being humble i'll justify everything that's true if i am humble everything's i don't have to defend everything i can i can have the lord correct me yeah. and show me a better way oh this is good we have some breaking animal news for you okay. animals are out there doing really interesting stuff <laughs> okay like windy oldest penguin in the world Okay. Just had a baby. Give it up for Wendy. She's like 30 years old, oldest penguin in the world. She lives at a zoo in England, and Nacho is the dad, her husband. Her. <laughs> and Brant. so, but <laughs> they're like, she just hatched this baby. Her first one was back in 1999. She's a great, great, great grandmother mm-hmm. and just became a mom again. Is there some limit on when penguins can? Reproduce. Why don't you research that and get back to it? Well, you're the news yeah, anchor. No, what are you know. talking about? Thought, you're at the desk. Just, I just think okay. everybody's celebrating. Let's be honest. Okay. Is she excited about this? Like, I'm a great, great, great grandmother. <laughs> and now I'm a mom again. <laughs> I don't know. If her and Nacho we, Yeah, we don't know how Wendy's we really feeling sure. about it. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. Sherry told me I'll be excited about it. Maybe you'll be excited about it, too. You said you have brain news? I have brain news, and I know cool. that I'm not usually one to bring brain news to this I like to it. The show. However, I am watching this master class on the mind and on the brain yeah. specifically, and they talked about how your brain budget, how much you have to spend of your brain on certain things. Yeah. And one of the biggest things is uncertainty. That the more you huh. dwell on uncertainty, the more you spend out of your brain budget. And it just reminded me of the things we talk about on the show about trusting God and how science right. is catching up to God basically saying, you're spending a lot of energy on this and you don't have to. It doesn't help. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, catching up to Jesus. A couple thousand years later, we're like, hey, he's on to something. <laughs>
Maybe you've seen this kind of stuff on the internet. They always have uh, listicles, is what they're called, like a list of things. Okay, like listicles? Ten, oh, like one of these I see, I see, yes. Ten classy phrases that make people instantly respect you. Classy phrases. Okay, let's hear that. Yeah, well, I'm going to use them, and I want to give you a little heads up because okay. it's going to make you instantly respect me. Okay, I don't know that you're supposed to give an announcement, but all but right. I'm, I just want to let you know. Yeah, what is it? Um, one of them is, thank you for your patience. Oh, okay. Now you instantly respect me because I said sure. that. Yeah, that's not bad. I respect your insight. Oh, yeah, that's not bad either. I respect your decision. These are all things. Okay. That so you're just going to start trotting those out? I, everybody who just heard me say that, you respect <laughs> me now, and I appreciate that. <laughs> Think about your neighborhood for a little bit. I saw this quote from this guy uh, about the importance of picking your neighborhood, but he said, picking and influencing your neighborhood is really important. The neighborhood determines quite a bit about our life and our happiness. Hmm. He was just talking about a five-block radius around you has a huge hmm. factor in your life. I guess that's true. But we tend to th- we're, we kind of get conned into thinking about everything but that Mm -hmm. but these are these people that are around you yeah that you could have tremendous influence we're always like no think big think about stuff that you actually don't have as much impact or influence yeah instead like no your neighborhood matters a lot those people matter a lot hope you're excited i'm excited about it Um, okay more updates yeah on on the senate race my campaign i know a lot of people are politically fixing on other races right now. And that's, I, I think that they'd be much safer to focus on this one. I think so. <laughs> um, mine is for the Senate in 2038. Yes. So I'm taking yes. my time. Yeah, of course. Trying to figure out how to do this. Absolutely. We have a key fob now. Yeah. <laughs> one. It says Brandt in 2038 with my face on it. Uh, a listener made that yeah. for you. Okay, and, so okay. the next step I feel like <laughs> there's another. Okay. is picking up some celebrity endorsements. When do I do that? Oh, um, you may be a little ahead of the curve right. here just because you don't have a platform for them to endorse. Okay, so, right. And also, I don't have any, like, celebrity friends, really. Okay, yeah, that's going to be a problem, too. So, how about so make, make some make friends, friends, make friends, and then get a platform? Okay, so I need to get a book about how right. to make friends. <laughs> so, this is why it's for 2038. <laughs> On this list of phrases to make people instantly respect you, mm-hmm. this is totally true, is I don't know. Oh my goodness, yes. Much respect for you I don't know people. You think that it won't. You think right. people will think a certain way about right. you, but it actually does speak to your humility. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. There's tons of stuff I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I am ready. I have learned this over time. Use it. I used it in an interview yesterday. I was being interviewed. Mm-hmm. Somebody asked me a, feel, a theological question. Yeah. I'm like, you got me. I don't oh, know. Oh, that's so good. So then there's awkward silence. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, well, you're supposed to. Well, but I don't know, so I can't. Right. Answer the question. And um, I do respect I that. I respect it. I think this is one of the biggest lies of our culture, but it's very subtle. And I think it's that everything has to be right now. We have to be doing everything right now mm. with our lives. Yeah. Like as, as though there aren't seasons in life. Right. Like I need to be pursuing all of my talents. Right. To the max. Mm-hmm. I need to also start a family at the same time or have incredible vacations while yeah. doing that. Right. Or working like crazy. Mm-hmm. And all like this is like, like there's just one season. It's just all out. Right. But the reality is just like the rest of the world, look around, there's seasons to things. Mm-hmm. There'll be better times for the vacations, maybe better times for the, the family stuff. That's better great. times, like, right? Yes, absolutely. It takes the pressure off. It's happening, uh, my run for office yes. in the year 2038. So right. it's not like big political news right now compared to other stuff. No, I, I for one think it should be. Okay, thanks. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I was thinking about celebrity <laughs> endorsements so I'm going to need to pick up. Do you know any? Any celebrities? Uh, oof. I'll have to get back to you on that. I don't think that I do. I, I know a couple I authors the, but you're one of them so what i know a guy who used to be the, themselves? the weatherman on Where? a local station on a local station yeah is he still yeah okay. it's like weekends okay yeah reach out to him baby steps right. brand hansen baby steps okay i'm gonna call brian <laughs> we we're talking about how there's seasons in life and it's good to know that like you can't do everything experience everything at once and take everything to the max like my mom always used to say to me, because you know I'm that person, she would say, you can do anything you want, but you cannot do everything you want. Yeah, and not all at once. Not all at once. I tell that to guys when I'm talking to guys. Like, 
If you got little kids in your house, it's yeah. little kid season. Yeah. This will pass. And you'll miss it from what I you'll understand. Miss it. I've seen you cry and cry and cry and cry. I've, I've seen you miss it. Cry. We don't have cry. to keep going on about. <laughs> I'm actually an emotional rock. That's, that's the reality. Really? Yeah. But yeah. So anyway, there's seasons to life. That's all I was trying to say. Oh, I have some shocking information here. I'm a shock jock. Uh -huh. G-rated. Keep everything rated G, but it's shock. Okay. It's pretty cool to think about it. Like, it used to be, if you lived in one big room with people, it was called a hall. That's what you called it. Okay. Then we started, like, isolating rooms. Like, that's the bedroom. That's yes. the bathroom. That's right, the... sure. Well, the only thing that's not room... Is the hall. We still call it the hall. Because we don't have it. We never developed another name for it. That's how we got the name hall. Okay. Because it was from... The whole th but now it's like not one of the named rooms so yes. that's all that's left is the hall is the hall or the hallway was what people yeah, usually yeah, if say you want to say way that's fine but, but most people say hallway right so then they do they do okay so uh, anyway, anywho um <laughs> it's pretty interesting <laughs> yeah there are seasons in life but you can be made to feel guilty if like you should be doing this and that and this and that mm -hmm. feel sorry for women especially on that yeah. and even in church culture They'll trot out Proverbs 31. <laughs> and there's this whole list of stuff you better be doing. Yeah. But the reality is that whole chapter is not a prescription for what you need to be doing right now. All yeah. that stuff. It's actually a tribute to Ruth. Mm. It tracks her life. Yeah. Written by her great grandson or yeah, grandson. Yeah, yeah. Like wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful to know that. Not a big Freeing. guilt trip. It's yeah. a it's a tribute to a woman's life, and it's a beautiful one, but it, it maps directly onto the life of Ruth. You know what can happen to people, especially if they grow up in church or whatever, that can be like, is this it? After a while. Mm -hmm. We just get together and we study stuff. And that's not supposed to be it. Okay. Studying the thing is not doing the thing. Oh, that's a great like point. Reading about tennis is great. Mm-hmm. But playing the game is the thing, right? Right. So then it's only then that you actually see the brilliance of it. Like turning the other cheek or something. Yeah. Like you actually go out and try that. Like try not getting vengeance, not letting people control your response. Like knowing that you're secure in the kingdom of God. Like you actually start doing that. Yeah. Then you're like, oh, now, okay, I'm actually doing the thing. Maybe you're going to a big picnic or something and you would like some social tips. Well, I'm here for you. Oh, you're going to give them. Okay. Yeah. So um, <laughs> one of the things, we'll do a little role play if it's okay, but one of the sure. things I'll, is ask people about their summer plans. Yes, that is very true. Right? That's so good. Yeah. I'll show you how to do it. Let's say we're at a, a thing. Yes. A picnic. Out, yes outside, yeah, sure. there's like a barbecue area. It's mm -hmm. like baby, baby carrots and a little bowl sure. over here, yeah, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But And then we don't know each other, but we live in the same neighborhood. Okay, good. Uh, hey, Brant, uh, which house do you Hello, live in again? Hello, are I'm you in the, uh, Yowla. going to the ocean? I do plan to go to the ocean this, this uh, summer, Well, yeah. then you'll be replacing your normal skin bacteria with ocean bacteria, which can actually make you more vulnerable to infection, according to a new study. Okay. I'm going to go get a burger. I'm going to go to the county fair. The Brant and Sherry Oddcast. To find out more about the show or to order Brant's brand new book, Life is Hard, God is Good, Let's Dance, go to BrantHanson.com.